Welcome back folks to Farm Sim. We put this pallet warehouse in and man this thing is no joke whatsoever. Here where do we go? Right here. So if you look it used about 9,000 in its first half month or so and it made quite a bit of pallets. These were full uh, four rows. There's four of them and I think I unloaded that about four or five times so you can see on the pallet deal there we have 57 um, hundred let's see here where do they actually in fact sell the best um, let's see where are you pallets 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 I don't know if it's this one or not Looks like the grocery store. Hmm. I think that might be the only place that takes them right now. Yeah, I'm not seeing... There's pellets, not pallets. Yeah, that looks to be the only place that takes them. So, I think what we're going to do is head up there. We're going to take an off-road shortcut, by the way, probably to get there. So, <clears throat> a few things. Last episode, we made that cornfield. I think we're going to extend it out and make another cornfield. Also, I would not mind getting into buying that soon so we can get into some actual grapes. Uh, but with that being said, we have a bunch to do today. We, I actually think March is the beginning of our planting season. So, I mean, we really can't mess around. Also, ooh, almost tipped it. Almost. Almost. Uh, almost. Jeepers. Some, remember, I'm the rich petty of driving. I got this stuff. Oh, also, we gotta go get our... I think we might have to get cheese. Looks like it's almost loaded up there. Um, so, let's go over here. That's on... I think the grocery shop is over here. Now, I don't think they'll take anything else. And depending on how much we make today might determine what we get into. Because there's a few things we need to get into really soon here. Oh, it's taking all of it. So I have no idea what they sold for. I guess they'll have an idea. Oh, 70 grand? That... I'll be honest, that's not too shabby. Let me go look at the cheese on the wall and see what needs to happen there. I don't have any cheaty mods whatsoever, and I can pick up cheese. I have never known that. Let's get these loaded down. Uh, they're not going for a very long trip, but I figure we'll sell everything we got uh, on this front. Um, the wool we've never sold before, there was, I believe, four pallets? I do believe. Uh, so, first things first, we need to take the cheese to the thingy doodler of justice here. The restaurant, because that is where it sells the most. Oh, wow, I forgot how valuable cheese was. That's insane. Alright, so let's back out. Ian, where was wool best at? The farm shop. Okay, let's actually head over to the farm shop then. We have not sold the wool, and that looks like it's pretty pricey, or the fabric, and that seems like it's pretty pricey as well. So, man, we are actually, this is going to be a month of money. Um, and there's actually one other thing here that's got to go down. Let's sell. Oh, wow. Alright, so I'm glad we started to get into more production. It's already paying off big. Alright, let's go back to the farm. As you can see, we've been kind of watching the prices here. And we're selling stuff at their peak in our maple syrup. Happens to be just at its peak, and we're going to go ahead and sell it. Also, honey, and they are both going um, actually to the grocery store. So, once we do these seasonal sales now, we should start making a little bit more money from them. 
Well, actually, that wasn't bad for maple syrup. That was 13 grand for maple syrup. So let me go grab the honey and come sell that next. Now, we don't have a lot of honey this time. But we got to sell it now because it is the peak amount. And I'm thinking next year we're going to have quite a bit of actual honey going on. You know what? That's not bad for a first sale of honey. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's get rolling now. We got farm work to do. With uh, the Dirty 30 on special assignment. Actually, let's go over here. Um, we had to bring the case over here. So eventually, we are definitely going to have to get into a new tractor. Let's turn this on. And we're going to actually hire... Um, Maxwell Harper, uh, you, you keep rock picking, buddy. Don't run me over. Now, it is spring. It is, it is farming time. We gotta do some farming stuff. Ooh, there is some rocks in here. I'm glad I'm doing that. And we really need to get another cornfield. I feel like corn is gonna be one of our biggest things to have on the farm. Um, and so. We really could use, uh, let's try to make it somewhat even with this one. And we got the boss hog out because we are going to make a new field. Now, I really want this to be straight-ish. All right, let's try to do our best to make this straight. Uh, yeah, so I think corn is going to be something we really, really get into um, this season. Uh, because it just feels like we use a lot of it. Also, I might have to touch this up and make sure this is perfect. Because it looks like I keep going in a row. Yeah, so. Alright, now, with that being said... Like I said, we want to really get into corn. I have a really cool idea for corn later in the year. Uh, but we really... Darn it, I keep getting sucked in. I, I need to quit doing that. Alright, let's go ahead and turn. And I don't know how far... Let's make sure we're straight here. I don't know how far we want to go out wide with it. Maybe that'll be pretty good for now. Let's, uh, yeah, I think we're going to do this. Let me get this field made up. Because I can tell you, sometimes talking and not making a mess out of everything you're trying to do doesn't always work. So let's go with that, folks. So this field is done. It's not the hugest field in there, but we're going to have to test the soil samples of it, too, to see how good these two new fields are. But I have a good idea for that one field over to the right, and they're both going to be corn. So, uh, But I think we might do silage out of them, actually. So let's go test that field and see how good they are. I'll be interested to see how good this land is, actually, over here. Uh, we don't really have a whole lot over here. Okay, it's kind of separated from all the other stuff we do have. And, to be honest, this field right here is super good. This one's not too shabby either, but this one was a really good field. Makes me think eventually we need to put a field here for sure. So you're probably wondering, where is the Dirty 30? Dirty 30 is up here because we are going to get a new cedar. It is a new spring, and I want to upgrade this. We have a lot more fields to be uh, doing, and you're probably thinking, well, the, the uh, let's go ahead and sell this. Uh, the Pink Panther is what we used to use to seed. Why is it John Deere up here? Well, I found this really cool cedar right here and we're gonna try this out this is a newer mod this 59 or 1590 no-till tandem drill I want to try that it says 
80. Oh, it does, it does say 170, so we might not be able to run it with the John Deere. When I was looking it over here, um, it looked like it said 85. Yeah, so it's 85 twice, but I think the John Deere could still pull it off. So I'm going to grab this and take it to the farm. We are going to put oats in here. So let's unfold this thing. I really want to see how this is going to work. Also, the John Deere might not be able to fold this. <laughs> it might not be able to. Oh, that's a fancy setup. I like this. Ooh. Ooh. That is really cool. Can we get... I want to see what this looks like here. I'm going to get a screenshot for the, the video here. Um, let's take the help window off. Wow. That. I know that's crazy to you guys. So how does it turn? Okay, it does turn in one big piece like that. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't, I don't know if the gender is going to be able to pull us off, guys. <laughs> I'm a little worried now. Let's lower it. Oh, no, let's fold it. Uh, I need the help window back on. Lower it. And then squares to turn it on. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's try this bad boy out. Oh, you have to do two of them. Oh, wow. Okay, so it is really like using two of them. It says turn off. All right, we're going to let me figure this out here, guys. All right, this guy is kind of what I figured. You do need to actually run both the cedars. So, can we run it at 9 miles an hour here? 7 to 8. So, as much as I like the John Deere, this really isn't the tractor to be pulling it. It's not bad, though. Not bad. I think we're going to let, let the Dirty 30 here run it one, one time. Alright, so I'm thinking... Uh, as we put oats in here, this is as good as time as any for a montage here, folk. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what to think of this, uh, this whole setup. I don't know. I have to use it more. Kind of different. Kind of a uh, pain to use, but also kind of just cool and different. Also, my tractor isn't moving. I definitely can't run them on the John Deere. Without a doubt, we will not be able to run them on the John Deere. Uh, that hill was just too much for ye old John Deere. So, anyway, guys, uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. And we got a lot of stuff going on for this, this year's planting, guys. See ya.